Welcome guys into the final game of Season 3 for the Otago Vaults career mode. It's been a pretty interesting ride um, in the Plunket Shield this season. We are pretty much in a position where we I don't think we'll finish last, which will be an improvement on last season. We've had two wins, obviously, which is an improvement on Seasons 1 and 2. We've only got one win apiece. And today we're playing Northern Districts, who are still in contention to win the Plunket Shield. Um, Auckland in the box seat, obviously. We're playing Northern Districts today. Fixtures and results hasn't been too good of late. Um, you guys, of course, were last year of the very convincing performance against Central Districts. Just with a few players away on international duty and the depth being a bit tested, we um, had to uh, try a few different things. Um, 410 for 8 um, in this game declared. Uh, Cooper 85 of 236 deliveries. One of his very rare, very rare scores this season. Uh, Kelly 63 of 122. Those two put on a good partnership. Bruce with the 100s. And then Fulcher and Mitchell contributed towards the back end of the innings there. Will Williams, uh, 4 for 113. Corbin, 3 for 69. Canterbury in response, 426 for 8. And there's a multitude of 50s to McClure, Fletcher, Nichols, and Stewart, with Fletcher just falling short of the 100. 97 of 185 deliveries, 11 for 16. Duffy, 3 for 102. Quite happy with his performance. Uh, Williams sort of struggled a bit with the ball and. Um, Picked up 2 for 110. Mitchell, 2 for 73 of the all-round position was quite good. Very disappointed with this effort. 132 out with uh, Tom Bruce top scoring with 42. And, um, pretty much were embarrassed in that innings. Henry, 5 for 55. And he just ripped their top order out, effectively. And it was a pretty easy stroll for Canterbury uh, to get that win there. Uh, next up, we took on the Central District side who had defeated um, previously. Um, we posted 237 uh, with uh, Arbor Ave, 65 137. And we had a bit of a rally. Um, we were 71 for 7. We got to 237 thanks to Ray, Duffy and Muller, all contributing over 30. They should not have to do that. Lennox, 3 for 72. 3 for 31 for Bracewell. Dudding and Tickner, 2 wickets apiece. 366 away, we got Central Districts. Uh, Shremulin, uh, 92 of 133, 14 boundaries, he looked quite good. Uh, Cleaver was um, a very instrumental part of this score. Um, 114 of 151, 16 fours, 1 6. They were in a very strong position to just bat us completely out of the game, but to our credit, we fought back. Muller bowled beautifully uh, towards the back end of the um, innings, 7 for 65. 381 for 5 declared, we got in this innings. Rutherford bringing up 112. Kelly 80, Bruce 71, and Cox 96. We declared with two sessions left to try and defend 256, I believe the score. No, 253. And they, they got it uh, seven down. So they were aggressive in their run chase, and credit to them for getting the win. Duffy, four for 70. I have no regrets about this at all. I could have batted for the draw. I wanted to go for the result. So that, regardless of what happened there, it's a good learning curve for the guys, to say the least guys will be interested in the latest um fred news um we'll go to his um coach and physio session i'd update this anyway um they played a few uh matches in that he is back um for today's game batting form has been a wee bit inconsistent you have to, have to say so there, there we go you take all the in 49 28 29 53 and 15 um previous games foxcroft got a big score against um australia recent times he got a 95 he's had a few little towers there with um, a few 50s in the one day stuff but you got on him uh Finn Allen, i think has had a few games as well no it hasn't he's just been pretty much called in not been able to do much but the training will go to um obviously fred sutherland um give him some development there uh, this will be the team. Um, I have named it, and a debutant uh, today. I feel as though Trent Kitson has been performing quite good in the second eleven of late. Five for thirty-five, two for fifty-two, three for twenty-one. He's been quite good in this patch, so it's good to give him a bit of a run today, just to see where he's at. The other ones at the moment, True Scott, just not quite ready for the level yet. But uh, we want to see a few more tears, like a few four fours, three fours. And um, obviously Bickerton uh, is still developing his craft as a spinner at the second eleven level at the moment. 
Hall and um, Williams are just trying to get some form back. Um, Hall, very much a bit of an eye-opener for him. I think he's still a talent, so we'll just keep sticking with him. But yeah, that's the team today. But it's good to see one of our development players getting an opportunity because of their um, second-level performances. Pretty strong team going up against today. Williamson, they've got the Sri Lankan Fernandos, played a lot of one-day cricket for them. Kugeline Saudi Wagner, that's a powerful, powerful um, unit that the Northern Districts possess. So yeah, want to finish the season off relatively strongly. Decent, decentish start for Northern Districts before Michael Ray uh, traps Seifetz. LBW for 14. And that is a key wicket too. Kane Williamson trying to set the tone with aggressive batting. Very Kane, not very Kane Williamson like. He's gone for a golden duck. With the spirits of the team, uh, with these two are bold 16 overs, uh, we'll get Foxcroft into the attack. Get him um, through a spell of bowling. Jacob Duffy will continue the other end, who's had a magnificent season. And he's picked up the wicket of Carter. And this is pretty good stuff from the, the Otago Volts. Just have got four early wickets, considering we're put into bowl first. Scroft just trying to get through a spell. 109 for 4 after 32 overs. Kitson in. It's in the attack. We'll just give him a little bit less pressure to um, cope with at the moment. Hopefully he can get into a reasonable spell of work. Michael Ray picks up another crucial wicket as Northern Districts are starting to pile on a wee bit of a score. Shaw had done a lot of hard work and graft there. He got to 50 out of 113. Kitson. I'm not too unhappy about that. None for 15 off 5. That's He's done a job. He's played a role in the team. Jacob Duffy uh, there. But yeah, it's just good for development, giving him an opportunity, just with his performances of late being reasonably good. So Kugeline is gone. Muller is giving a late charge in the end of the season. It's bowling beautifully. Brilliant catch to get Tim Southey for 6. He's out of the attack now. Um, we'll bring in uh, Foxcroft. I'm not going to over, over bowl uh, Kitson. Just going to give him little spells here and there. So the guys are doing the job at the moment. And Foxcroft will pick up another wicket. Wagner caught on the boundary. Kitson in now. Hopefully Kitson can just bowl a tidy enough spell. Although he's not going to get too much more bowling in this innings as Ferns has gone for 57. That was a good innings from Dunru uh, Ferns. Second 50 in his career. Overall happy with the bowling performance. Ray 4 for 62. Muller 2 for Foxcroft and Duffy 2 for yeah, Kitson. Just getting a little bit of exposure at the level. He does deserve an opportunity. None for 16 doesn't mean too much in the scheme of things. He did Play a bit of a role there. You might get a bit more of a bowl in the next innings. So just want to consolidate here. Get a good platform, hopefully. Cooper's had a pretty rough season. Sally and Wagner. It's a really good test for our experienced openers. It's good shots. A wee bit of um, movement there for Wagner, but um, elegantly timed from uh, Rutherford. So we're 25 without loss. And that's a beautiful delivery from Tin Southey. Just getting in in the right areas. And he's got the wicket of Hamish Rutherford. Brings Kelly to the crease. Hasn't had the big score this season, Kelly. But he's been quite good. As Wagner picks up Cooper. For seven. Not a great season for Cooper. You'd have to say. Sort of battled along. And um, hopefully he's not on serious decline. Because I'm... Just I'm wanting to find a youth opener. Give him a bit of an opportunity. And just put a bit of pressure on that um, established pair at the top. It's a target. I've just lost three quick wickets. Brings Fred Suttle into the crease. Who's had a magnificent year uh, for the Black Gaps. Really learned a lot about himself. That big 300 and 8. What a highlight in his career. It's immediately... We'll have to show his class as he's got to dig a target out of a hole. 
Kelly's just doing his part. Staying in there, which is good. Decent shot from uh, Fred Sutherland. He gets out of way for four. Ooh, Kelly is gone as well. So it brings um, Finn Allen uh, to the crease. Lovely shot from Fred Sutherland. He's just getting into his work. He's just he's working hard for his side. 92 for four. I think he'd, he'd be a crucial element to our um, chances here. And he's gone. Tim Sally gets it in a good area. Fred Sutherland gone for 35. So Targo has slumped to 101 for 5. Lunch interval day 2. 113 for 5. Trailing Northern Districts is 283. 170 runs behind. We need to sort of close the gap. We will update you on the um, other games going into the last um, couple of days. Again, it's just been a theme of the season. We've just sort of struggle with the bat. Like, the bowling's just been in good areas, obviously, against us. That's where he goes. Uh, Duffy got 40-odd in the last game. He's going to have to be required to do that again. We've got to get near 200 just to stay in this contest. Beautiful catch. Muller in. Just avoided the follow on. That's the main thing. And districts doing everything right, making every post a winner to try and sneak a late victory in the Plunkett Shield. Allen's applying himself beautifully. Only one maximum so far. He's, he's been restrained so far. He's had to be. It's a handy little patch at this. This is exactly what we wanted. We're batting time out of the game too. Ten of all day two. We will update people around the grounds. Canterbury 511 all out. Uh, Nichols getting a double hundred there. Auckland Central Districts. And that's a pretty tight encounter. Although Auckland have made a better fist of things in the second innings there. Jamison 66. No wonder Auckland are pretty good. They've got Ferguson, Jamison and Archer to call upon. That is a That's a really potent attack. Muller goes for 18, and it brings debutante trinkets into the crease. Don't speak too much with him with the bat. Just got to try and hang round if you can. It's beautiful shots. Got that away for four. Tiger moved to 185 for nine. Got the lead under 100 at least. But overall disappointed with the effort. Um, except for Finn Allen. Uh, Finn Allen's really fought hard uh, for his knock. He's on 46. Well, hit from Trent Kitson. Tiger closing on that 200. And it is all over. Sally has picked up another wicket. He's picked up um, quite a few in this innings. 5 for 58 for him. 4 for 42 for Brown. Tiger will be disappointed with that effort. To say the least. Just got to bowl on good channels. Hopefully we can get um, some early strikes. I think I've got the class of Kane Williamson. I don't think he'll fail twice. Um, Duffy into the attack. He's been a wee bit expensive. Uh, Trent Kitson. Opportunity for him. Let's get it over in before the end of the uh, session and get into a spell of bowling. And the young Kitson, he's got his first Plunkett Shield wicket. He gets the wicket ashore. So he's got the ball to do just enough off the pitch. And Shaw's got 58 again. And that's 1 for 15 for Kitson. That's all we will bowl him for. Just small spells for him. And just gradually work his way into the team. And um, this, the control of the innings is completely with Northern Districts. They're trying to get into a position where they can um, completely dominate from here. Finally got wicket Kane Williamson. He showed a bit of class in that innings, Kane Williamson. He was just going about his work. 43 off 60. Pretty low scoring first class fixture for him, which is unusual. Uh, Ray will get the wicket of Carter. For six. Okay, just a wee few inroads being made. Lunch interval day three. 227 for three. Lead 314. Just updates around the grounds. 249 for six. Can we go for Wellington? We really wanted Wellington to win that if we were to get ahead. Central Districts need 333 to win. It looks like a very, very 
high opportunity to press on there for the Auckland side to win the Plunkett Shield. We struggle away. Kitson will get through another, um, hopefully, a decent spell. Oh, we're into the attack. 10 over is 1 for 30 for Kitson. Don't want to over bowl him. Duffy gets a, finally another wicket. He's got the wicket to Seifert. Seifert's done a good job as well. They're just playing handy enough. Big 139 from Seifert. This is 10th. Um, 112 uh, fours, three sixes. Fernando's brought up 50 as well. Just in complete control now. We're just trying to contain... attack spray gets finally a wicket he's got the wicket of bentle for 21 he he looks like a promising player albert bentle 650 600s 24 matches he's been around a wee while now for the uh, northern district sizes so they finally declare 383 for five they've got 99 for fernando they could have <laughs> let him bat the over and get the run to be honest but yeah struggle um big time there 471 to get be batting for um for the draw effectively i think we're gonna get that target just want a bit of fight from henry cooper fighting 50 or something just to say he's still got the goods that's a beautiful delivery from south he gets the wicket of rutherford so we try to knuckle down just try to get an established base i only want to go to day four with nine wickets in hand be struggling here oh that's a good delivery has he got enough on it kelly he does gone all the way for six a leading edge Forty-eight for one shots that's four 59 for one it's good shots done one part reasonably well lost one early wicket but Kelly moves to 37. Cooper at 18 at the close of play. Auckland have won the Plunkett Shield quite convincingly. I, I, I was very interested in this guy potentially to see how he develops. He's an um, up-and-coming um, player um, in um, real life. Uh, and Auckland have got him as well. So they, they've got some talent there. We start day four. Come on, Cooper, just got to show some application here. You've got to battle through this early part of the day. Bit of a dicey shot there. Gets away with it though. 74 for one. Terrible keeping. Take that. Good application. The first hour is really crucial. We've nearly got through the bulk of the um, first session. It's a good shot from Cooper. Just leans into that nicely. 93 for one, Otago. Cooper moves to 40, Kelly to 38. Kelly's gone. Wagner has struck. Brings Bruce to the crease. Oh, that was lucky. Wagner could have been on a hat trick. 99 for 2 now. Beautiful delivery from Brown, who got a few wickets in the first innings. A few plays and misses here. 54 minutes to go in this session. Over and up uh, for uh, Tom Bruce. It's a big uh, maximum there. Lovely glance off the pads. Cooper Wine being introduced into the attack as a target. Just trying to move business. It's got outside the line there. That's pretty safe, if you ask me. Finds the gap, Tom Bruce. Had two guys in that um, sort of zone. Pierce the gap. He's gone now. Cougar line comes in, does a crucial thing here and gets a wicket. Brings our Fred Suttle into the crease, averaging that mightily impressive 61. And that's 50 for Cooper. He's fighting hard um, here. He's been out of touch all season. He's trying hard for a side to hang in there. He's just got one past the slips there. Good 
shot from Fred Sutherland. He'll score quickly, Fred. It's the way he plays. Yeah, that's tough going here. This is a crucial session. Got to get through the bulk of the session without losing too many wickets. Batting order is frail today. Just with the addition of uh, Kitson into the lineup. Kitson didn't let himself down. Uh, bowled a few overs. I think 16 in the entire game. Just gave him enough exposure just to say to him, still got a wee bit to work on. Um, still will be developing mainly next season, but he'll, he'll get more opportunities more than most. Because I think he's just showing that he's got a bit of class, um, finally. Good shots from uh, Fred Sutherland. He's hooked that pretty well for four. He's to 36. He's looking so comfortable at the wicket. Cooper's Cooper's playing a different sort of knock here today. He's striving away. That's another boundary to Cooper's uh, tally. Moves to 77. Good shot from uh, Sutherland. He's got that away for four. And 50 for Fred Sutherland. He's made it look pretty comfortable. He's just going about his um, business. He's got um, quite a bit of cricket for New Zealand uh, coming up as well. Lovely shot. Rocks onto the back foot. Fred puts that away. 64 to Fred. Beautiful day for two. 30 for three. Doing a good job here. Next session. Very important. Brown gets Sutherland early. Sutherland will be annoyed with that. He's out for 64 off 117. Nine boundaries. Brings um, Allen to the crease. Still a lot of work to do for the batsman. Allen's gone early. Brown doing the job for the Northern District side. They want to finish the season on a flourish. I'm just going to show the batting application that I know we can show. Oh, all that hard work for Cooper, and he's gone. He's gone for 87. And things has really just fallen apart, really, now. Give ourselves a shot. Have, make sure we have at least four wickets in the bank going into that last hour. Credit to our Stuffy and Muller can bat a little bit. They can hang around. Hopefully Michael Ray can do the same. Valuable boundary. Just taking time out of the game. 50 minutes to go. Four wickets in hand. I think uh, Foxcroft will be a key man to get uh, through this little uh, difficult patch for us. Lovely shots. It's away with it. Handy 14 runs. He's better 35 deliveries, more importantly, for Michael Ray. He's playing some good shots. And every time it goes to the boundary, it just coughs up a bit of time. Lovely shot. Down the ground. Four more. Foxcroft. Ray just manoeuvring that nicely into the gap. Showing the batsman how it's done. Not too much time left. It's good shots. Beats the, dis beats the dive for four. Three, ten for six. Tiger have fought well in this innings. They've lost Foxcroft there. 46 of 73. A valuable 46 for Foxcroft. And the match is drawn. Um, a game Northern Districts dominated, but to our credit, we showed a lot of fight. There are 50s to Cooper and Sutherland in that innings. Foxcroft and Ray, and also Kelly for that matter, batted quite good. So where does that put us on the table? An improvement on last season, so that's good news for us. So that brings a wrap to the Season 3 for the Otago Vaults. Season review coming up, guys. Uh, smash the like button on this video. Share with a friend. Comment on the video. Of course, the Discord's there, as mentioned, and plenty other episodes. We'll have some of you guys to join the Discord and help build our cricket community in there. But we'll see you next time.